Hey there, I'm Tesla, and in this Unreal Engine 4 tutorial, we're going to create a very basic pickup, but we're going to bring it to life by making it rotate and bob up and down. So this is a nice easy one, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so we'll begin by creating our pickup blueprint. So in the content browser, we're going to right-click, add a blueprint. This is going to be an actor, and let's name this pickup. So we'll open that up, and we're presented with the components tab, so we're going to add a component, and we're going to add the collision. So we're going to use a sphere. So we can just name this collision. And we need a static mesh, so I'm going to come to the props. If you've got a model, you can use your own, but I'm just going to use the simple material sphere. So we can just drag this in, leave it named as that, but I'm going to scale it down a bit so it fits in that collision. But if you want to change the sphere uh, size, you can increase its sphere radius just here. Okay, so let's add the functionality so it will destroy itself when we touch it. So we're going to right click and we're going to type in overlap, begin overlap, we'll drag this out and we'll type in destroy actor. So now let's drag this into our map and when we touch it, it will disappear. Like so. Okay, so it's a bit lifeless at the moment, so what we can do is add some rotation. So it will constantly be rotating like this. So to do that, we're going to, we're going to go back into the graph and the blueprint. We're going to right click, get a an event tick, drag this out, and we're simply going to type in add local rotation. And on the z-axis, we're going to use just the value of 1. You can increase that if you want it to go faster, but I'm just going to leave it as that, and it's as simple as that, so we can jump in and we've got that simple rotation going for our pickup. So we can take this even further and make it bob up and down. So we'll come into the blueprint, we'll add a timeline, we can name this movement, we're going to open this up, we're going to add a vector track, and let's name this movement again, and we're going to set the length to 1.5 and we're going to use the z-axis and at 0 we're going to left shift click make sure that's set to 0 and then at 0 0.50 we're going to left shift and click on the z-axis sorry make sure that's set to 0.5 and we're going to set this to 0.5 as well with the z-axis selected we're going to come to 1 we're going to left shift click make sure that's set to 1 and we're going to set this to minus 0.5 and then with the Z axis selected, we're going to left shift click 1.50 and set that to 0. And that's all we need to do. So that's going to give us our bobbing movement. And we're going to loop it and connect the play up to the local rotation, drag out update, and we're going to type in add local offset and connect the movement up to the delta location. And that's all we need to do. So it's as simple as that. So we can create, copy and paste more of these, or you can just hold left alt and just drag them out. And it automatically creates them. And we have some basic pickups now. Okay guys, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for checking it out. And make sure you stay subscribed for any of my future tutorials. Cheers guys.